Hey, Mike, welcome to the Get In The Mode podcast. Thanks, David. It's great to be here. Appreciate uh, having this time. I want to talk about sort of, uh, you know, power, authority, Th those things are getting a bad rap these days, right? Um, tell me, like, how do you view those uh, words, um, you know, to, uh, you know, especially coming from that background, your background, I'm curious to hear. Um, you mean like the the words like power, David, or um, you know, just uh, authority? Yeah, those, yeah, those sorts of things. That's right. Yeah, I, um, I think that those are things that need to be earned, and and that they're not things that are stated. That if you do the right things, you just gain those things based on how the world works and how people work and that if you again going back to if you trust people to do the right thing then you're gaining power and authority without anybody saying it because they're they're trusting that you've got the right plan and you're you've got the best interest of the company and them as you make decisions and through that is where power and authority comes from. It doesn't come through, you know, a position title or um, uh, by being autocratic in your ways. Um, my experience is, you know, power and authority comes uh, kind of up through the ranks, not from the top down. It, it's really based on how the how the leaders are being perceived by those who lead is where I think that really comes from. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I love how you said it's sort of like a byproduct of, you know, what, how you are with the team, right? It's, it's almost yeah. like, you know, you demonstrate uh, certain respectable, you know, behaviors and actions and, you know, things like that, the interests that you share, uh, then, you gain respect uh, in that process. Uh, and, and it doesn't happen overnight. Um, and it, it's over time. And then it's like the team is entrusting you with that respect and, you know, authority that comes from it, right? So yep. what are your thoughts on someone you know where does one start like let's say you know somebody is in perhaps mid-level leadership positions and they are aspiring to kind of move up the chain um you know how what's what are some strategies they could use to accomplish that um I think number uh, one important one in that is to, um, you know, do what you say you're going to do. Um, and if you find that you can't for some reason or something goes sideways in what you're trying to do, then don't hesitate to share that with your, you know, your boss. Um, you know, bad news doesn't get better with time. <laughs> so, um, you know, if because things sometimes go sideways, so you just have to share that and don't don't try to hide it and don't be ashamed of it. Um, because most of the time, you know, most people who are in that next level of leadership, I'm sure they had things go poorly at some point because everybody does, and they're going to understand what they won't understand is trying to hide it or letting it go on for weeks or months that there's something wrong. Um, you know, so just being transparent and um, uh, it is, is really important. Um, another thing when you're in trying to, you know, grow into increasing responsibility is don't wait for someone to tell you what that next thing is that you need to learn, figure that out and then go learn it. Um, you know, it's, it, it's, and, it, and, when you do that, when you start getting inquisitive, you know, have have intellectual curiosity on what's going around. And, um, you know, I mentioned I was in marketing and that's when I started to learn about digital marketing and digital marketing led me to technology. 
And then I was like, wow, this stuff's really cool. Let me, I'm going to keep learning about it. And I didn't, you know, it wasn't that I ever planned to be the CTO, but it's been almost like a perfect role for me because it allows me to, um, uh, I have a mechanical engineering education background, but I did selling for years. And so I've got, you know, a lot of problem solving in both of those areas that I'm able to bring every day into this role with CTO and have a lot of impact in the organization because of all that we're trying to do as a company. So that's really exciting. And it wasn't anything that was planned. It was just every day trying to do the next right thing. I think that if you want to make it really simple, that oftentimes is it. Just do figure out and do what the next right thing is in your role and good things are going to happen for you. Hello everyone. Thank you for listening to that clip from the Get In The Mode podcast. To watch the full episode of the podcast, click the link in the show description. Also, consider subscribing to the Get In The Mode YouTube channel to directly see new episodes on your YouTube feed.